Hello there guys, uh, it's a quick video here. Over the past uh, 15 years I've been working as a, a welder. I first started out doing uh, MIG welding. And I moved on from MIG welding and I, I do TIG welding. And I've got my own machine in my workshop here. Well, workshop, shed I should call it. And uh, what it is, over the past 15 years I've been working as a welder. Everyone calls this an earth. And what it is, it's basically to complete, the, when you're welding you need it to complete the circuit. So you hook this onto your welding table and then your current will flow basically, returns a current. Well, everyone calls it an earth and it's not an earth because the output terminals on a the welder, they're completely isolated from the mains. So uh, uh, the output welder is essentially the, the output is floating. So there's no connection to the mains earth whatsoever. Now let's say it was, now let's say this is a setup for TIG welding so your TIG torch is negative and your work is positive and for TIG welding you have it that way round because more heat's generated on the positive side of an electrical arc so you want the heat to go onto your workpiece. So let's say you had a TIG welder and it was just for TIG welding and uh, they earthed the uh, eight put to the mains earth coming through this uh, lead which is a power lead on a 16 amp circuit feeding the welder. Now this bench is connected to the mains earth, so let's say this was clamped on underneath or on the side, wherever you had your workpiece on and you accidentally knocked it off. But your welding current is still going to flow because it's going to get its reference through the mains and it's going to come back through the cable to the machine. Now this goes up to 160 amp and if you try to pull 160 amp through the cable feeding the welder and the cable feeding the socket in the workshop, it's going to melt the cables. So for that reason the outputs are always floating so it's not an earth or a ground because in uh, other countries they call it a ground over here we call it an earth it's not an earth it's a current return so we basically complete the circuit and uh, the other reason is as well this machine can be used as a stick welder and for stick welding basically this will come out <coughs> And then what you can put in then is you put your stick welding uh, rod in and you switch it over to MMA, manual metal arc, which is a technical term for stick welding. So if I was to touch that on there it would arc up. I'm not going to because I've got no gloves or protect, uh, welding mask on at the moment. So switch that back onto TIG and you can take that out. But commonly TIG welding like I said, you have your uh, work positive and your electrode negative. Stick welding, you generally have your bench negative and this positive. Because more heat is generated on the positive, you want to melt your filler material quicker. So what you do is you put that there to your stick welding. And the end of the... Uh, So that's your, that's your return for your uh, stick welding now, so that, that will now clamp onto the bench and that there is now your stick welding out, output power, so you've swapped them around, so that's why it's not on earth or around. And to prove it, I've got a test meter on continuity and the bench is earthed. But I'm going to test it through an uh, extension cord. So if I get a contact in there, I place it on there, no, no continuity. If I touch it to a screw on the side of the machine, I get continuity. But there's nothing there. Continuity there. Nothing. That should be earthed as well. Yeah. And the same goes for the... Uh, There, no continuity. So the outputs are floating, completely isolated from the mains and completely isolated from the mains earth. So, right, I think that wraps it up. 